Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So I cannot believe how fast time flies and we have our early stable update rolling out for the next version of Google Chrome, which is version 128. And the early stable gets released to a limited subset of users, so most, including myself, wouldn't have received it yet. And it started rolling out uh, late yesterday in my region, so we will get the official version upgrade of version 128 rolling out the 20th or 21st next week, as I've mentioned previously. Now, when the update does roll out uh, to the general public, uh, the version and build will be sitting on 128.0.6613.36. And just a quick overview as to more or less what we can expect. Obviously, um, this is not a um, an official list and is subject to change, but some things I've just pointed out and I've just noted that could be making their way uh, into our next version upgrade. Also, some things I've taken out of the Chrome platform status for version 128. Now, first of all, if we just head over to Chrome Canary uh, 129, which is the latest preview version, there is a possibility we may see some of the toolbar icons for quick shortcut buttons for the toolbar uh, starting to appear, which will be a menu that you get in your customized Chrome site panel, as I've been posting. I don't see why some of these wouldn't start making their way into the stable version because in the stable version we can already pin um, one or two elements to the toolbar so I think there is a, maybe a chance we should start seeing some of these roll into the stable which I'm quite happy to see because I'm really enjoying that little feature in preview. Then, of course, we can expect, as always, to get the weekly security updates that give or take rollout with every rollout as part of the um, version upgrade. And then if we head over to the Chrome platform status, just to pull out one or two interesting little um, features that, according to the Chrome platform status, will be rolling out in version 128. Now, before we have a look at those two, I'm going to suggest that Chrome 128 is going to be what I would consider to be a light release, okay? So most of the changes according to the Chrome platform status should be taking place under the hood. But just to mention too, um, there's going to be support for multi-pen inking. And what this means is that this change according to Google will provide a secure and reliable way to identify individual pen pointers interacted with the screen to set specific colors or pen shapes for each device interacting with the digitizer. So basically that's a multi-pen inking support that's rolling out with 128. Now this um, next one I'm going to mention is very interesting and it's going to be interesting to see how this actually pans out and actually rolls out um, to the stable version where they are adding a skip add media session action and this is interesting because basically According to the Chrome platform status, um, this action lets browsers show a button in the system media controls or in the picture-in-picture -picture window to skip an ad. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting with all the ad blocking, um, deprecation of ad blockers in Google, uh, in Google Chrome going on. This is going to be a very interesting one to watch. So basically what this means is that in the media controls, you should see a button to skip an ad for that media that is plain. And also in the picture in picture window. So if we just enable picture in picture, so in this window, there should also be a button to skip an ad, which is going to be very interesting uh, to see roll out. So a bit of contradiction going on here with Google because they are clamping down on ad blockers, but yet they've added a skip ad media session action according to the Chrome platform status. So interesting to watch. And while we are talking about deprecating and blocking ad blockers, I think if you haven't seen it already, you are going to start seeing more of the extensions um, because obviously, as mentioned, by the end of this year, in the beginning of next year, 2025, uh, Google and Chrome are deprecating manifest V2 extensions as I have been posting. 
And I'll leave um, a video regarding that link down below and in the end screen. So if you haven't already, um, you should see Manifest V2 extensions, the deprecation of those, including uBlock Origin, start appearing um, on your extensions page because Google is moving on to Manifest V3 extensions. So that's just a couple of things I've pulled out that we can expect to see because obviously this is not a comprehensive list and is subject to change, but um, some of those are going to be interesting. And our next version upgrade, version 128, will be rolling out in give or take a week's time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.